with the black interior and this baby has just about everything you can get from the factory. You talk about a sweet little sport wagon too. I mean, they are just awesome. You've got the intelligent X-Drive all-wheel drive system in this car. One thing right off the bat to mention about BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. It is phenomenal. I remember back in Gosh, was it? I think 04. I went to training on the new X3 that came out, and they had us doing some crazy stuff. Um, I mean, sand on cement, going around in a full 360, just flooring it, and that thing was just amazing. The traction and the speed of traction and adjusting to each wheel. I mean, it is amazing, guys. Definitely. If it, and ladies, if you guys are looking. Um, for an all-wheel drive vehicle with some extra cargo space. You want great efficiency. You want some fun factor. You want great handling. This is definitely the vehicle. Um, right off the bat, we got the M Sport package with some nice upgraded wheels on here designed by the Motorsport Division. They got their little stamp on there. So let's go ahead and move up to the front. So that front bumper has been adjusted. It's a little more aggressive. The whole lower part's been redone by the M Sport package. So styling, and you got your LED fog lights in there. This one was ordered with the black kidney grills. That's a uh, port installed option. So when the car comes in from the factory, hits the port in Port Wyneme, California, we go ahead and have BMW put that on. It's very cool. We have a lot of very cool BMW accessories. So you can personalize your car, and BMW will put them on the vehicle for you. So it's included in the MSRP in case you're looking to finance those uh, additional um, options or maybe in the leasing they'll be part of that lease program so very nice you can see we've got the LED headlights on here now very cool signature look um, and we've got some good clearance too the X drives do come a little higher off the ground so you have a little bit more clearance and let's check it out we do have some all season tires on here and sorry for the shadow but give you a little nicer look at that wheel these are a style 400 M and you can see that little M badge right there so the motorsport division our race car division and the m car development team got to got to adjust or design this wheel for this package also you can see along that lower panel along the car there also has been modified for the m sport package so right along there you got a little different design let's go ahead and head to the back of the car see that shadow line exterior around the window very very nice gives a little bit more attitude and let's have allison give us a little rev time with our four cylinder Actually sounds great. It's a two liter four cylinder turbo. I'll talk about that in a minute. But also that M Sport package comes with a redesigned lower bumper right here. So you got that gray rear diffuser kind of look to break it up, give it a little bit more attitude. You see those great LED lights that we got last year on this vehicle. And then there's also your X drive indicator. And this is your 330 model for 2017. So let's go ahead, move around to the side and meet my co-host, Allison. Hey, Allison. Hi. How's it going? It's going. Cool. Let's go show them the power plant. All right, guys. This is the new B46 engine. It is a slight adjustment from the N20 that we had last year. Usually when BMW does that, it means more horsepower, more torque, which is exactly what they did. Instead of 240 last year, we're up to 248 horsepower. And from 255 in torque up to 258 in torque. And the 0 to 60 for this X-Drive Sport Wagon 330i um, is 5.7, so not bad at all. So you've got some acceleration, you've got some traction, you've got some height in case you're going to the hill, going skiing, camping. And then we're going to go around the car now and we'll show you all the other cool features. So I'll go ahead and close this up. We're going to head over to the sticker. All right, have Allison tell us about all the cool stuff on this car. So we've got the 2017 BMW 330i X Drive Sports Wagon. We've got it in the Storal Blue Metallic with the Black Dakota Leather with Oyster Highlights, Cold Weather Package, Driving Assistance Package, Driver's Assistance Plus, M Sport Package, Premium Package, and Technology Package. Feel free to pause the video at any time so you can take a look at all of the options it comes with. There we go. There's a nice laundry list of sweet items from BMW. Also, what's our mileage We're getting there? 23 City, 33 Highway with an average of 26. And there is your final assembly. And then here's also a list of some of the standard equipment. 
So cool, we'll go ahead and have Allison get in the back. One thing I wanted to mention about the car, it's just under 182 inches long, just over 71 inches wide, and just over 56 inches tall because of that extra height with that all-wheel drive system. Weight ratio is, I think, right around about a, a percent and a half to the front, so it's almost 50-50 weight ratio, not too much of a difference. And the car weighs about 38.25 in curb weight pounds. Allison, how you doing back there for leg room? Really nice. Great, yeah, they've really done a nice job with these wagons throughout the decades, guys. Lots of space, as you can see. Allison's 5'8 without the heels. This one does have the full, you saw the cold weather package, so heated seats in the back. All four corners have heated seats. And we also have that really nice big panoramic moonroof up there. Very cool for the backseat drivers, especially if you're heading through the, you know, the forest, things like that, up in the mountains. There's a lot of cool visibility up there. It is tinted for protection also. So what we'll do, we'll get Allison out of the back seat. Oh, let's show the security shades real quick. Oh, we got do. the main one? Yeah, you got the main one and also the side window. So that we got a little bit more protection. And obviously for passengers on long trips, you can block out some of that sunlight. There we go. She's going to show us some features in the back here. So what's nice about this is that the glass is independent. So you can actually just open the glass portion of the rear hatch. Very cool. Check on your pets, check on your cargo that's shifted possibly during travel. Make some adjustments, but not have to open the entire space up. Very nice. And then of course, the entire hatch comes all the way open. And you can adjust the height of that case. It's a little high for your garage. That can't, does have four settings in the I drive. So cool guys, we have 27 cubic feet of storage back here. And then we put down the seats, it goes up to 53 cubic feet of storage. So plenty of cargo. Allison was gonna show us a couple things underneath. BMW does have some cool dividers. Um, as you can see here, this device you can put in, divide around the, uh, the bottom flooring area so you can put stuff in certain sections. And then we do have a little bit more storage underneath. There we go. And we do have some charging ports, we do have hooks, you know, nets, different things you can put, you know, hang stuff from. And then also we do have obviously the security shade. And we also have, what is that, Allison, the good old cargo net. Is the cargo that... net. So there's actual anchoring points in here. That's so very cool. Nothing comes flying forward when you take yeah. those curves. Or case if you've got a pet, it gets pretty energetic in the car when you're driving. <laughs> At least they won't jump over the back of the seat um, or sit there and lick your ear while you're driving <laughs> along. <laughs> okay, cool. So now we're going to drop these seats so we can show you that cargo space. Really cool too, as I do like, is the shadow line exterior. Also then the black roof rails. Now we do have side rails for this, all kinds of cargo stuff that you can put on top of the roof of this vehicle. Anywhere from storage uh, containers to snowboards, surfboards, bikes. So Allison's going to pull down that side there. Perfect. She's going to do that. And as you can see, there's three. And then I'll pull this one down. And you can see plenty of storage. And then obviously the cargo net and the uh, security shade do pull out. So lots of storage. And you can see it's pretty easy. Just throw the seats back up, give them a pretty good slam. There we go. Perfect. So come on over to the driver's seat. There we go. Get you in. Now being the M Sport package, they do like to let you know different areas around the car. Got a little bit more attitude. M design. Also you can see we do have the dead pedal there. Design M Sport. Kind of give it a little bit more attitude. A little pizzazz. It does have a protective sticker over it right now. Now this car does have your sports seat, so you can see the contrast stitching, that's that oyster highlight that we did with this interior. Also last year they did upgrade and kind of put some highlights on the seat controls, a little easier to see. Got your memory, your lumbar, and then your bolstering adjustment on the side right here, so that way you can tighten it up if you're going through the canyons. Here we do have some of our settings for our blind spot, lane departure, active driving assistant, and you've also got the heated steering wheel in this one too, which is very cool. And we do have a place over here for water bottles in the door if you want to. And then here's all your setup here. Mirrors, obviously. Windows. This one does come with the Harman Kardon sound system. We do have the gray cover to the speakers. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a signature look. And how do you fit in, how do you fit in there, Allison? Good? I feel like I could go on a road trip. Okay, so you are ready to travel. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, don't forget about me. Okay. I need to ride back to the dealership. <laughs> I do sell car guys, so please send me an email, um, definitely if you're interested. Um, would love to have a chance to earn your business. Hey, and check out BeamerPost.com. A lot of cool enthusiasts on there, a lot of cool information. And if you guys can, please share my videos on your other media sources. That would be greatly appreciated. Show your friends, Facebook, blogs, wherever you like to post them. And also a thumbs up if that's cool. 
trying to think, have we gone over everything? Well, one thing I was going to mention about the X-Drive all-wheel drive system, too, is it can actually put 100% of the available power to the front wheels. That is 100% of the available power to just the front. So it's a pretty cool uh, benefit to our X-Drive um, compared to some of our competitors can only do up to 70%. So in some of that extreme, you know, driving or conditions, weather conditions you could be in, you know, just a little bit more can definitely help you get through what you need to get through to get home or get somewhere safe. Let's get to the inside of the car. Also, this has... <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> yeah. Talking so fast. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's awesome weather out here, as you guys can see. What is it? January 6th? And you can see, look at it. It's sunny. No wind. It's probably, what, 65 oh, degrees yeah. or something? Yeah, 60 so. degrees. Yeah, 60 degrees. <laughs> Air's a little dry out here. I'm talking like a madman. Okay, let's get back in here. Okay, we got the aluminum trim in here. So you can see there actually is a texture to our trim here. It is brushed, kind of so it's not just a flat silver. Kind of a nice sporty look for this wagon. And you can see it on the inside here. And we did that with the black highlight along the bottom. So kind of really giving it that sporty design. Also, we do have a cover to the cup holders. As we know throughout the decades, BMW has definitely put more and a better use of cup holders throughout the decades, but they do definitely like to hide them. So they really don't want them to be seen as an option. Okay, so let's go ahead and look up. I got the new 5.0 iDrive in here. A little quicker, faster. You do have still have the 20 gigs of storage. Um, you can check out the vehicle definitely access all your settings what I like too is when you do highlight a particular section it'll give you a quick preview so that way you know if you need to go all the way into that menu if it has what you're looking for very fast too also with our sport button down here as you can see here now the sport button deals with our throttle response and our steering elevates the steering to a little bit more road feel and then that throttle response is going to get a little bit more responsive basically a little bit more uh, faster behavior thinking about performance the mapping of the car also will um, get a little bit more attitude we also have our show you here our side cameras up front so it actually shows you where the cameras are and then it shows you each view so let's say you stick your nose out of an alleyway because you can't see down the side of the road you can push that button this will look down the road you can see if anybody's coming and maybe your car might be sticking out maybe a foot and a half instead of you literally sticking out half your car so you can look down the road so some of the neat features we have for the cameras that button's right there next to your leg and let's go ahead and turn that off let's see and push up that sport button and i push the sport button and you can pull up your sport displays, which are kind of cool. Horsepower, foot-pounds of torque. So you can definitely see that while you're kind of having some fun in the sport mode. This one does have, I think, the M Adaptive suspension. So it will adjust the dampeners and stuff and tighten it up when you do go into the sport mode. Allison, what about this giant moonroof we got up it's here? It's so beautiful. You want to go ahead and open that up? Sure. Oh, sorry for interrupting. No, <laughs> it's just so pretty. Yeah, and you'll see it goes all the way back. Now give it one more push back. Bam, there you go. And the glass is tinted, but you can tell, very, very nice. Huge moonroof. So we'll go ahead and close that up. And it does have a full shade, not a see-through shade. And also, can you push it straight up? There we go. It vents also for you. So it's a great view from the back seat, especially going through forests and windy roads with the trees hanging over the street. It's a very cool look. You can see the black headliner, very nice, kind of matches the interior. Great space in this car. Oh, go ahead and open up that center console. You can see there we have the aux plug in there, definitely easy space. Not bad at all. Here's more of that aluminum trim. And then we've redesigned the buttons for the iDrive controller. So thinking more about behavioral and what people want to push. And then learning these buttons so you can quickly move around. They are textured, so you can kind of tell when you're on which button. Also the touchpad controller. And then also that transmission. I thought I was going to have Allison show us a little bit about this 8-speed sports Steptronic transmission with the paddle shifters. So what we've got here is this unlock button. So in order to put it into drive, you're going to press in, pull back. You're in there drive mode. Go. To get it all the way into reverse, again, press in. Nice sturdy push it forward. Cool. Now you're in reverse. And there's our rear camera and our sensors on the left. I think this one has that overview, doesn't it? Yep, and like I did last time, I left the door open. So there <laughs> we go. Now you can see down on your vehicle and see around both sides. So definitely very nice. Let's go back to the main menu. 
and then Allison will put it back in. Oh, let's do that sport yeah, mode. Let's, let's show them that. Okay, so again, button in, pull, pull it down back. into drive, slight tap to the left. Now, when you're into the left like that, it's going to tell you up here in the dash that you're, you can see there's an S1. So that is in the sport automatic mode and it's showing you that you're in the first gear. We have the sport button push, so there's where an indicator knowing you're in the sport for your throttle response and your steering. But what's kind of cool is since it's electronic controller here for the transmission, Allison's gonna turn it off, car automatically goes to park and it moves it over for you. So it's just one less thing you have to do and definitely make sure that the vehicle is stopped obviously to turn it off. And then that way that'll, and then you've also got your handbrake here, which is great, leather wrapped. And then we have the awesome M Sport steering wheel that we definitely all love, Napa wrapped, uh, Napa leather wrapped. Also, it's got some nice, you can see the um, sewing on the inside. This one's all black. And then you got your M Sport, um, or you got your Sport uh, symbol there, uh, the M symbol. That means the motorsport division was in, um, had their hands in, <clears throat> in developing this. And then we have our voice command here. You're laughing over there, Abby. You're laughing, Abby, aren't you? I got all dry oh, throat going thing. on over here. Uh, <laughs> we got we got our plus and minus for voice command and also for the radio and music. Uh, you can see mode. That'll go back and forth between your last two music uh, settings. Uh, if you're maybe in your... Um, what should we say, media, maybe in radio, or maybe listening to one of your devices. Yeah. That's for answering the phone. I'm over there's your cruise control. Let's see, does the heads up display actually I can show see it. up? Let's see. It's, oh, there look it is. Look in the bushes. Bit, yeah. <laughs> and does it have a white box up there? Too? 25 miles Perfect. per hour. Yeah, so that reads the street signs for you and shows you up there. But also, as you can see, I can push and some stuff will come up there. I need to connect a phone. But you can go through your phone history up there, through the car will show up there. And also, your nav directions will show up there getting warm in the sun. I know we got some of some of our watchers and subscribers are probably in a blizzard I was right just going to say there was like 20 here. feet of snow. Yeah. We're all, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> California. So cool. I wanted to show you that heads up display. Hey, there goes another BMW. Look at that. There's oh, the 5 Series. We're in yeah. good company. That's the 5 Series wagon from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we don't have those in the United States anymore. So, at least new. But we definitely have this awesome 330 Sport Wagon X Drive with the M Sport. And this baby is loaded. So cool. All right. Oh, yeah. Where can we follow you? Allie underscore BMW driven on Instagram. Awesome. Cool, Allison. Okay, here comes the fun part for her. <laughs> All right. Road trip. I'll That's see you in right. Three weeks. That's right. <laughs> see ya. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, please send me an email if you're looking to get your first BMW or your 20th BMW. If you live in the state of California, we do do all the programs leasing, financing, select, pre owned. Uh, certified pre-owns, definitely. We've got a great selection right now of those, but thanks for watching. This is one hell of a wagon. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.